Hello, I'm Don Crossley of Cross Custom Metal Fabrication Incorporated in Fairfield, California. I operate an on-site welding and repair service. Well, hello, I'm here at the Fabtech Show in 2016. Uh, ran into a situation where I needed a, uh, a replacement MIG machine because the older red machine that I had was getting a little bit heavy and a little outdated. Uh, I got to check in the industry and found that all three of the colors, the the ESOB, the uh, red one and the blue one, all had pretty much the same features as far as, as, far as the uh, the smart MIG setting. So any one of the, the three that I chose would have would have fit the bill as far as big. Now, the difference being is some of the other machines do claim to to perform stick welding processes and TIG welding processes. But the thing is, is uh, I operate a on-site welding and repair service in Fairfield. I do a lot of uh, Fairfield, California, that is. I do a lot of uh, portable work inside. Sometimes it requires me to actually do code welds, which requires a 6010 root 7018. And this is the only machine designed to run 6010 electrode. That was the, the biggest breaking point for me, is having an, a machine that'll run 6010. That tells me right away that not only do, uh, does this company, ESOP, care about the people that use their, their equipment, uh, really care about being professional about what they do. 6010 means that it's going to be a code weld, and that tells me that it's going to be an industrial machine. But uh, I got tired of lugging that thing around. This machine right here is half the weight of my red machine, and that was, that was uh, what made me most excited about it. When it comes to 7018, believe it or not, for the last 30 years I've been using nothing ex but, ex uh, but ESOB Atomark exclusively. Why? I ran into a small, uh, well it was actually a large pipe job about 30 years ago when I was working for a large company and we started having problems with uh, porosity. We uh, called the tow room and told us, told them to send us out some more rod that wasn't that particular brand and they sent us out of mark. We haven't had a single uh, problem with porosity or, or missed x-rays ever since.